our channel. So in this video, we are going to show you at least 10 skills this, 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 this to improve your skating. Yeah, so if you are new here, consider subscribing, comment, like, share. Ilikuwa wakati tunafanya nini? Tunashuhudia Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Unakumbuka Jerusalem? Hebu jaribu tuone. Mimi nitaimba. Jerusalem. Ikayayana. Ile no lo se. Uhambe nami. Zuna mishililana. The tip number 1 is uh, sprinting. Uh, for me I work in with a rule of 6 steps. You make six big steps. You can start small, and then with time you progress to bigger steps. Uh, after you've done sprinting, now it's, you, it's going to be easy for you to gain power, uh, to start very high, and then it will, again it can speed. Uh, it helps in speed. And another thing in acceleration. So when you start with sprint, sprinting, it's going to help you accelerate more. And like when you just start by skating, just going like a normal person, it's going to be challenging. And like when you start by spending. So every time you want to start skating, if it's advisable, if you want to be that efficient and smooth, to start by sprinting. So you sprint, I do six steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. After that, now you can do the normal skating now. But you make sure you push. If you're okay with double push, it's okay. If you're okay with the normal push, it's okay. But that's the tip number one is sprinting, sprinting, sprinting. So guys, this is called Nya Estate. The last time we were here is when we did the Jerusalem dance. It's almost uh, one year now. It's a nice place. Uh, I chose this place because there's no much car. There's no much interference. So I thought this would be a perfect place for us to do our videos. So if you're new here, consider subscribing, comment, like and share. Tip number two, staying low. Staying low uh, help you to improve when you're inline skating because you're going to use less energy and then you're going to save energy. And uh, at the same time, your speed is going to be at a certain momentum that you can maintain. And like when you're skating straight, uh, but when you are low in this position, it's very easy to maneuver around. And at the same time, you're going to save on energy and that it will, speed, it will improve your speed. Uh, most people tend to find it weird at first when they start skating like uh, why, sh why they should stay low or uh, for instance people say bend, bend a little bend it's because uh, when you are at this position your body is like making a streamlined body that way when, you, when you're in this position the air will not block you and like when you're straight there's so much air you're going to face on your way and like when you're like this there's less surface that way you are going to improve your speed and at the same time you are going to save a lot of energy. So every time you want to skate, after you've done the sprint, the best thing to do is go down and you stay low. And for that reason, this small surface and that way it allows air to pass through your leg and through your head. For that reason, you are going to improve your speed and at the same time you are going to save on energy. That's tip number two. Espanol. Uh, uno, dos, tres. So tip number three is environment. Your environment really matter. You should avoid the crowded places. Uh, a place where it's not safety. A place where, with too much car. You should completely avoid it. Another place with uh, much obstacle like uh, uh, let's say there's a pothole. There's something like car, there's a bump, stuff. Rough with small stones. Uh, rough with pebbles, you avoid that completely. You have uh, like a safer environment, it's going to be easier for you and it will make you to work even harder and uh, in fact enjoy your skating. So if you really want to improve on a skating skill, environment really matters because uh, when you have a safe place, a clear space, uh, let's say with no much distraction, it's going to be easier for you. Like uh, this place we chose today is in an uh, estate called Nyao Estate. Uh, and then this place is usually excluded, uh, mostly for sporting activity like skating. This is where we learned most of our trip, of our tricks. And this is where we've trained other people also because it is said, as you can see, there's cars, but they are not allowed to reach this side. So they turn from that side and then this place is empty. 
So environment really matter. If you want to go and skate in town, you know, in a busy, busy space, I don't think it's going to, unless you are a pro, that way is okay. But if you're not a pro and you want to perfect your skill, you really have to choose a safer place for you to perfect your skill. Yeah. Uh, tip number four is jump over everything. Uh, you see a bump, you see a ram, you see a pothole, you see a stone, you see a bottle, you see you see like a, a raised platform. Jump. There's no need to just pass through it. Or still, it's okay to pass through it, but if possible, jump because most of the time, if you pass through it, you may trip and fall down. So if you're comfortable, again, you have to perfect your jumping skill and also your landing skill because. Uh, there's so much obstacle on the road and then there's so much obstacle uh, on the places you're skating because most of the time you're not sure of the place, it's not a private place. That way since it's a public place you're going to find the people throw bottle, there's a stone, there's drainage, there's like a bump. So it's possible learn to jump around. For that reason it improves your skills and also it makes it easier for you to skate. Tip number five, crossovers. A crossover means like literally crossover, you cross your leg over the other. So crossover, if your leg, if you're going on your left side, this other leg, the right leg is the one to cross to left side. If you're going to the right side, the left leg is the one to cross on the right side. Uh, so like this, you go and then you're going to turn. So you turn, right leg, carry, push, carry, push, carry, yeah. This technique is very important when you want to improve your skills on skating because it helps you on the corners. You can go fast because most of the time in corners, like when you're making a corner, that's where people slow down. If you know how to do crossover, it's going to help you accelerate more faster. So make sure you perfect your crossovers because uh, it's going to help you not only when you're making corners. Also at, at some point when you are skating normally and then you reach a point where you need to increase your speed, you can make some slightly sideways crossover. That way you accelerate more, you increase your speed. If you're in a competition and then, uh, uh, as like I said, in corners most people tend to slow down. But if you are good with crossover, that's where you, you pass them. That's where you make your move. So crossover is very important and very key. If you are a professional skater, you can comment down below and tell me what you think. Does a crossover help you or uh, is crossover a crucial key when you're skating? Tip number seven or six, I don't know, seven, is arm swing. Uh, arm swing helps you to increase speed. Uh, I think uh, almost every tip that we have said is going to help be a better skater. So when you're skating, make sure your arms, your arm swing really helps. That's why it's called a swing. You have to swing from left to right. If you are you are pushing forward, the legs and the hands alternate automatically. If you are pushing with the right leg, that means the left hand is going to be forward. The same thing to the left leg. So when you're really pushing and make sure your arm swing is very perfect, very clear, you have to improve your arm swing. It's really going to help you along. And the uh, same to uh, sprinting. When you sprint, if you remember the sprinting we did, your arms are supposed to be there. You can't sprint when your arms are straight. So you sprint with your arms and legs. That's tip number six. Tip number eight. Number seven, eight, I'm not sure. Uh, be prepared for anything. Be prepared for anything. The road, uh, the road is not usually smooth as you expected. The road has different obstacles. There's a time if you can be skating, you find this, this grass, this obstacle all over, this trash. Yes. At other point, there's a point we skated and uh, we reach a point, it was the end of the road. We have to meet a rough road. So you have to be prepared for anything, especially when you're accelerating. You don't have to panic a lot. Take it as it comes. Just prepared for it. Like uh, there's a point you have to reach a place, you have to at least cross through a grass to reach another place, another road that is safer for you skating. You should never be scared of it. Just uh, relax, be normal accept obstacle on the road so for instance uh, you are skating accelerating as a normal skater 
and then you meet, uh, let's say, a rough road, or uh, there's a, the, the, the road has ended. Just be relaxed, take it as it comes, be prepared for it, slow down, and if you know brakes one and two, brake. Be prepared for anything. Tip number eight is uh, brake. Braking is very important. There's no way you can skate without knowing how to brake. You should brake. You should expect unexpected. There's no road that is smooth. You should make sure you perfect your braking skill because uh, you might be accelerating and then you find an obstacle. Make sure you can maneuver around. Make sure you have, you've learned those emergency braking like a T-stop, power slide, uh, suicide, those are some of the black that you can learn and uh, it will help you to make those instant stops because uh, there are so many things when you're skating that m will hinder you. You may not skate smoothly. So make sure you're perfect on that. Breaking, uh, I think we've done a video about breaking. You can check the link up here. If you really want to improve your, ski your skating skill, breaking is very important and crucial in skating. I feel like it. We're going to have fun. I'm These things are fun, my friend. Hey, and you are still subscribed. You subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> loyal subscriber. Yes, I'm loyal subscriber. And this is Ango. Subscriber. Did you did you catch that? Did you take that? I'm loyal subscriber. Sub Frank is friend is here. I'm loyal sub sub subscriber. Sub 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 I'm sub sub. <laughs> so, uh, point number nine. Uh, it's uh, balancing in one leg. Uh, balancing in one leg is just uh, it helps you to to stop or it helps you slow down in a situations where the there is no road, it's rough places or there's an obstacle. Like it just helps you maneuver around things. Tip number ten: turning and uh, going backward. If you can be able to turn when you're moving forward, you can turn, jump, going backward. At the same time you can alternate in and out it's really really important so when you're improving your skating skill make sure you are comfortable to turn jump and turn again or you can just make a smooth turn so it's very very crucial and very important thing to do in addition to turns uh, it helps you go backwards uh, because when you jump and you turn unless you know how to do a 360 or 540 jump that's why you can land when, when, when you're facing forward. But for now, if you are doing a normal jump and you jump backward, you have to be comfortable with skating backwards. It can help you escape obstacles. And also, if in, it's in a crowded places, you can easily maneuver around people. So when you turn, make sure you join in with the backward skating. Yeah, we did it. Those are my tips and skills. Skills that I have learned over the seven years I've been skating that has helped me. So if you're new here, go and try out. If you think you can add something more or you think I have not done enough, it's okay. These are just my opinion. Uh, please consider subscribing, like, comment and share. If you're new here, please, I would really appreciate. Uh, and if you see YouTube recommending my videos, it means man, they, they want you to really subscribe to my content. <laughs> yeah, I'm out.